Hello everybody and welcome to the Tech Channel. Today another chip module test with Arduino Uno and it's about color detection using the GI31 as written here and it may be called like a TCS3200 or TCS230. So first thing I have to say is that I don't recommend chip market module if you are making a project using it. It's better to go like for a authentic one. It's not precise at all. There are some problems. You're gonna see it later. I may actually didn't give it enough time, but the principle is still the same. The module has photodiode array, and the current is converted into a frequency proportional to the light intensity. So there are 16 photodiodes with red filter, and 16 with blue filters, and 16 with green filters and 16 with clear filters and we select which one we want to use we'll see it later in the code i also have a little project when the colors are reproduced using an rgb led i have this one here right here in the breadboard we're gonna use it later it's not very good like uh, projects but the idea is there and you can improve it if you want Let's begin with the pins of the module. So there are in total 10, 10 pins, but for the VCC and ground, they are uh, redundant. So here we are left with eight pins. And so the VCC and ground will be powered from the Arduino using the five volt. And here we have the LED pin. We will not use it as the LEDs light uh, automatically. If you don't want them, you just have to put this LED pin to low level. But I will not connect it, just to leave that the LEDs uh, always on. Here we have the out pin. It's where we have our signal. And here we have S0, S1 pin. So depending on their logic level, they will define the output frequency scaling. Here we are using high for both, which permit us to get 100%. As you can see from the table in the screen, there are four modes what we are using like the 100% mode you can change it if you are using another microcontroller or something else here we have S2 and S3 pins and they permit us to select which photo dives we're gonna measure if you want like only measure the red or blue or green so in the code basically we select a certain color and we measure its output then to the other until you get an RGB value but if you need to measure only one color you can do it too and as you can see in the table, the logic levels define which uh, photodiodes we're gonna use. And in the code I'm gonna use in uh, right now, we use them uh, all. So now using some jump wires, I'm gonna wire this module to the Arduino. And as always, the wiring and code I'm gonna use will be in the link right below. So here the wiring, as I said, it's very simple. VCC and ground with 5 volt. And then LED is not connected. S0, S1, S2, S3 will be connected respectively with 8, 9, 10, 11 and then the output with 12. So the module is wired with Arduino and it's just upside down so I can put the things with the color I want to detect uh, under the module. So for the tests I'm gonna be using some notebooks. I have here one with red color, blue and the last one is green. So I'm gonna use them to test so now let's check our code so here first i define my pins as i said from s0 to s3 it's from 8 9 10 11 then the output on 12 and then we have this data is where we get our values for the moment is zero so here we declare our pin modes as we are have four outputs and one input and then we put the s0 and s1 for high as you saw in the table just to get 100 percent of scaling frequency scaling cycle so here what I do in the loop, as you saw before the S2 and the S3 permits us to select which photodiode we're gonna use and as you can see here I'm going through three of them so low low and then low high and high high and it gives us red value, blue value and green value. So here I'm executing this get data function every time I want to read a value. So what does get data function do? Here we have data and we have puts in out low. So this pulse in function waits for the out pin to go low and then start timing and waits for it to go high again to stop timing. So here what we get is just the duration 
on which the pulse in is on the low state and we print this data corresponding to if it's uh, uh, for red or for blue or for green we're gonna see it later so here as I said the module converts the current into frequency and here the higher the frequency of the of a color the lower here with data we get so for example if you are the if we are detecting uh, something red here for the data you're gonna have a red is uh, will have the lowest value and if blue here we're gonna see as the blue has the lowest value the higher the frequency the lower the duration as here we are measuring a duration so we're gonna upload this to the arduino and test it so here the code is uploaded to the arduino the leds are lighting and here we just open our serial monitor and here you're gonna see the red blue and green values as here is pointed toward uh, over here it's pretty much black let's put for example something red let's approach this module a little bit as you can see the red value is the lowest one but unfortunately as I said this thing is not precise uh, very much as you can see the blue value dropped a lot and it's quite close to the red value but here we can use like if the red value is the lowest one it means that the for example the things we are uh, detecting is red let's now test with the blue as you can see the blue value is the lowest one and don't forget with there's like something white or uh, all the values will, will drop let's test now with the green as you can see that's another issue we have the green is sometimes pretty much difficult to detect so for the green sometimes i have a problem so here i'll be using this mouse it's green let's test and as you can see the green value is the lowest one sometimes it's very difficult to detect if the things you are detecting are uh, very reflective but this one works actually well so this is how you read like the values and if you want to identify them we're gonna use another code so here this uh, first code is as you might say like a uh, calibration for your module to know what is what is green what is red what is blue and how the module reads it once you do this you can go to the second code which is this one we have the definition of uh, the pins as the other one and here we add our red blue and green values so here what we do is just we get color so here we execute this get color function and every time we make the s2 and s3 to low and then we read the red value pulls in out like a digital red if it's high we put it to low otherwise we keep it high and then we measure the duration of the low signal just like what we did before just another way to write it and then we measure blue and we measure green for the same like as you can see there is not much big delay just 20 milliseconds between everyone you can remove this delay if you want so we can say like this all this function get executed pretty fast like uh, 60 milliseconds considering the delay if you want to remove it you can so here once we get our red blue and green value we can start to compare them and here if the value are really low we can consider it as white the object as white otherwise if the red is the lowest value considered as red then for the blue same thing and then for the green sometime as you saw it's a bit tricky it's not the lowest one but it can be 
here uh, they did like uh, green minus blue is uh, inferior or equal to 8 so like it's not big much difference between them we can consider it red green sorry otherwise it's a no and of course you can uh, improve this code if you want just make sure to use the correct module and an authentic module and just give it enough time to know what are really the green color and the red color and blue color because it depends on the lighting and the area where you are working so now we're gonna upload this code to the arduino and check what's the result open serial monitor so now as you can read it's unknown because the values are uh, really big now we're gonna use a white paper it's detected as blue now red now it's white it depends also on the distance of your module from the object to detect so it's white let's test again with other things green and as you saw the distance matters a lot too make sure to be at a close distance as possible so that's the code for detecting colors you can add it as many colors as you want just know their uh, values or approximate values and try not to change a lot your location or your lighting area so now for the last one we're gonna add a LED an RGB LED and we're gonna see what code to use for it too so this is the code that we use with our RGB LED we try to read the color using the module and then reproduce it using the RGB LED so here we just added the RGB declaration uh, and their pins 356 make sure to use PWM pins for sure and then we have the red blue green data here we declare the RGB pins so here as before we get the colors color value red blue and green so here as we read the values for the red blue and green we're gonna reproduce them for the led so here we use the analog right and for the r which led r which is the red we read the value red and it goes from 15 to 60 it depends on the module the lighting or whatever the other factors they can be so those are your proper values for me it goes from 50 to 60 for red and then 30 55 for green and then 13 45 for blue so here what we do we read these red values from 15 to 60 and then we convert it to 255 to 0 so 15 correspond to 255 and 60 correspond to 0 so as I told you the module gives you lower values for the color detecting so for red like 15 is 255 for green 30 is 255 so there is like our maximum red then 60 is the lowest so 60 like if we don't have red here we're gonna have zero and here try not to use any delay because we want it in a real time so we're gonna upload it to arduino and see the result so here it's kinda red actually it's not visible on the camera oh my god because the blue as you saw is very dominating you're gonna try the blue as you can see this is the blue let's try green now as you can see this is green so the most difficult in this application is the red one I don't know it's not very visible because of the here it is a little bit it's because of the reflection it's the reflection that defines it that blue so as you can see for this application the red one is pretty much difficult to detect you can improve it if you want reduce the blue a little bit 
it will make the red go like brighter so that's it for this module i hope you like it if you have a question you can ask me put a like and subscribe if you want and see you next time